What up, world? What up, me? This is Dre Wise. Come at it like this. Dre Wise Topics this morning. Okay. Topic is this morning. I like to discuss, you know, about Bruce Lee. How he was an excellent uh, martial artist, you know. And talk about how he died. You know, his death. Okay. There's people in the world watch Bruce Lee, is a fan of Bruce Lee, you know, that do martial arts and things like that, you know. Bruce Lee was an excellent uh, martial artist, you know. But people don't understand, you know, why it came down that way, how he been, how he died, and how his death came about, you know. The reason why Bruce Lee died, you know, because he taught and gave lessons and teach the way of the martial arts to the Americans, you know. He was not supposed to do that. He was forbidden to teach the arts of martial arts to the Americans. You know, it was forbidden to him for him to do that. And he got with a no good white woman. You know, some say he got stabbed. Some say he overtrained. No, you know what I'm saying? Stabbing, you know, yeah. Many men came at him with knives and stuff like that, you know, or shot him down. But when you overtrain, when you train yourself, you do exercise and routine and stuff like that. When you train yourself, you know, and you overdo it, you get fatigue. You know what I'm saying? True enough, you can die from exhaustion. True enough, you know what I'm saying? Now, when you're trying to train yourself, train your body, you know, do exercise or whatever you're doing, training, and you do so much of it, your body won't allow you to go further into that training. No, your body won't. You know, your body will give off a signal that goes up to your mind and say, that's enough. Enough is enough. Time to sit down. And rest. If you continue on, keep trying and uh, trying and try to push yourself, even when you're tired and you, your body's exhausted, then you will develop some type of exhaustion and uh, the heart problem. Then you wind up dying or something. You know, Bruce Lee died. His death, he got murdered. You know. Because he taught the Americans the way of the martial arts. Gave them lessons and everything like that. If he never ever done that, you know what I'm saying, brought that martial arts from his country, you know what I'm saying, over to over here, you know, there will be no martial arts schools around, you know. That w there would not be men that know martial arts that's from America. Men like uh, Chuck Norris, Wesley Snipes, you know. That man, that actor that played in um, Tyler Perry, you know. Why did I get married and why did I get married too? And, and the, the, he also played in Spawn, you know. That black man, they would never know about martial arts, you know what I'm saying, if Bruce Lee did not do what he done, it was forbidden for him to teach the way of the martial arts, you know, it was forbidden, so that's why it came down to that way of punishment, which is death, you know, in all honesty, his country that he's from, we are still an enemy towards them, you know what I'm saying, True enough, you may see presidents and senators and stuff like that. Go over there and shake hands and smile. You know what I'm saying? But that is a fake smile and a fake handshake. 
They want to present to the world like everything's good, everything, you know, ain't no beef, ain't no war. You know, take a picture. Let's take a picture to make it seem that way. You know? I mean, when you see President Obama shake hands with the, uh, the foreigners, of the leaders and stuff like the presidents of the foreign country, we really, uh, an enemy towards them, at war with them, smiling and grinning and shaking hands. That's deceiving, you know? We still have enemy towards them, you know? Just like, for example, you know, get off topic a little bit, but I'm going to hop back on topic. That um, the rappers, you know, 50 Cent and the game beef, you know what I'm saying? They was beefing, you know? 50 Cent didn't like when the game was hanging around, socializing with... Fat Joe, because 50 Cent had a beef with Fat Joe, you know. Gang was hanging around. Fat Joe, social line taking the picture. 50 Cent didn't like that. It is, it's all sorts of reasons. It's more to that story. So, when Steve Harvey, I think, got these two men together, got these rappers together, you know, 50 Cent and the gang to squash, you know what I'm saying, squash the beef. You know, but to this day, they still, to me, they don't like each other. You know what I'm saying? For real. Because you look at the picture 50 Cent and the game took, they still look like, I, I still don't like you. I still, I, I can't stay. They look that way. You know what I'm saying? They took a picture. They, they, they you, know, you know, they didn't even put their arm around each other. You know what I'm saying? They probably, well, Steve Harvey put Steve Harvey put his arm around them. But in their face, they look like, I still don't like it. I'm just doing this just to do it. You know what I'm saying? Present it to the world, whatever. I don't know. I don't know these men. You know what I'm saying? But they look, you can look in their face and say, I still don't like you. Yeah, I know you don't like me. In the game, the game says something about 50 Cent um, liquor, you know. He said, oh, this is not what I thought it to be. And what I tasted is not what I thought it to be. Oh, this is what's the big hype. You know, he said something in, on Instagram. He said something. He tasted it. He didn't, he didn't really like it. He did not like it. You know what I'm saying? But I, like I said, I don't know these men. I don't know 50 Cent. I don't know the game. I've just seen these men on TV performing um, on the BET Awards or showing up on some talk show and doing an interview or whatever. You know, but Bruce Lee, you know, Bruce Lee, I mean, only, I mean, you can say Steve is a god, but Steve is a god, he's not uh, from the United States, I don't think, I don't know, I don't know if Steve is a god from the United States, but Steve is a god, uh, he was trained in a martial art that was different from Bruce Lee, you know what I'm saying? It was different. Uh, Steve was a god uh, fighting uh, a martial arts way was to reflect. Reflect your attack. You know what I'm saying? You counter and let it go back on you and stuff like that. Which it was called Aikido. You know what I'm saying? So Bruce Lee, you know what I'm saying? He was, like I said, he was an excellent, you know, uh, martial artist teacher. And that taught this, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, that's why he got murdered, you know what I'm saying? Because of that reason, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no other reason, ain't no other reason, you know what I'm saying? It was forbidden for Bruce Lee to teach the Americans, which we are an enemy to his country, you know what I'm saying? Still, you know? To teach the Americans the way of the art of martial arts. It was forbidden. So they put him to death like that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, give him a white woman and everything like that. Let him uh, mess, fool around and mess around with a white woman. You know what I'm saying? A no good white woman. You know? So that's why he been put to death like that. Ain't no other way. You know what I'm saying? You got, they say he got stabbed and he overtrained himself. No, no. Well, got stabbed. Them guys that stabbed him probably came at him with a knife and pistols and stuff like that. 
you know, but overtraining yourself, you know what I'm saying, you can die, you can die from that, you know what I'm saying, from exhaustion, you know, but when you overtrain yourself, and you try to train yourself that day while you're, you, while you know you're tired, you're sore, as what, you know what I'm saying, your body will not let you go any further in that exercise, no, it wouldn't, you know what I'm saying, it wouldn't. I mean, this is this is how I look at it. Because like I said, the body would give off a signal to the mind. And the mind would tell you, sit down and relax. Lay off this and let yourself heal. You know what I'm saying? And Bruce Lee, he was a uh, he was not a mass mass of a size of a man, like must real built. He was more slender and ripped, like you know what I'm saying? So yeah, Bruce Lee, like I said, was a excellent teacher, martial artist. You know what I'm saying? He showed that in his movies. You know what I'm saying? I saw a, I saw a movie one day, and I was over my aunt's house, and her husband was watching Bruce Lee because he liked martial arts movies. You know, and on the movie. It was a cassette tape. It was a, a VHS. You know what I'm saying? And Bruce Lee was going against Chuck Norris. You know what I'm saying? I said, oh, oh this is a trick. I got to watch this. I, I was like a teenager. I was like, a teenager. I was like, I got to watch this. I got to watch this. You know? And Bruce Lee won, I think. You know what I'm saying? I can't remember. You know what I'm saying? But Bruce Lee won. You know? So... John claude Van Dam, you know, he's not, I don't think he's from America, because you could tell by John claude Van Dam, his accent, you know what I'm saying, he got an accent, you know, so, yeah, but, uh, he, Bruce Lee was not allowed to teach the Americans or either the country, you know, the ways of the arts, of the martial arts. No, that pole to stay in his con in his country, his homeland. You know, so that's that. Dre Wise topics. I am Dre Wise. You know, you can post a comment about what I just said if you like to. You know, what I'm saying the one that the ones that like um, martial arts, the martial art movies, and things like that. You can post a comment about what I just said. If you are a fan of Bruce Lee, you know, say so you like Bruce Lee, you 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 are uh, inspired and entertained by Bruce Lee, you know, yeah, like, share, subscribe. You have a nice morning, you know, prosperous attitude, good attention attitude, you know, what I'm saying, and that's that. I am Dre Wise, and this is Dre Wise Topics. Peace.